everyone, welcome back to Shelf Life Extension. I'm Alexis, and today I actually have a real video for you guys, which is super exciting. So I feel like I should have some weird intro video here, you know, be like, whoa, Shelf Life Extension, what's up? I don't know, I haven't decided on one yet. I didn't even know how to go about doing that. <laughs> All right. So anyways, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the Elements Cover Book Tag, or the Cover Elements Book Tag. I was tagged by Annie over at Bear's Books, who is amazing. I love her, she's like my bestest friend, and I'll leave her channel link down below, and you, uh, if you haven't caught on yet, you should just like click it and then subscribe. Otherwise, there are two questions for each element, and yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Element number one is water. Find a book with water on it. And for this, I chose Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. Now, this is the first in the Serena Legacy trilogy. But yeah, this is a book about a girl named Emma who uh, can talk to fish. And um, then she meets this guy named Galen, and there's this like undeniable connection, and you find out that she is a half breed mermaid thing. It's pretty cool. I actually really enjoyed this series. I read it at the beginning of last year, I think. And uh, yeah, I really did enjoy this series, although at times it did get annoying, but that happens. Other than that, I really enjoyed this series. So yes, Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. Question number two, find a book with blue on it. And for this, I chose Ashes on the Water by Mary Lindsay. I absolutely love this cover. I think it's really cool. And I really like how it's like toned out. So that's just like blue showing and then the rest is like gray and dark. Super moody. But this book is about a boy named Liam McGregor who is cursed, as the people in his community like to say. Really, he was just born with a, a physical deformity, and uh, he lives in on the Orkney Islands in Scotland, where they have very overbearing and powerful beliefs in mythology and religion, in which case they just consider him cursed and they don't really associate with him. In which case, he uh, meets a girl named Anna, and they kind of fall in love, and it spurs on this really crazy kind of war between people and things. It's actually really cool. I really did enjoy this and it's a great standalone book if you are interested. Yes. Next is Fire. Find a book with fire on it. And for this I chose Eon by Allison Goodman. This was very popular back in the day. Uh, I gotta be pretty honest though. I did, I enjoyed it, but I didn't care much for the main character, Eon slash Eona. I thought that she was, I don't know, she just annoyed me a lot of the times. But otherwise, this book is about a girl named Eona who cross dresses and uh, disguises herself as a boy so she can partake in the, like, this competition trial things that she could be chosen to become a dragon eye, which is like an elemental master thing with the dragon psychic stuff. That's really not true, <laughs> but it is. Yes, otherwise I just like everything that encompasses within the series, but I just hate Iona. I did not like her. She really annoyed me and oh, that just makes it really depressing. But yeah, otherwise Eon by Alston Goodman. And the next question, if you haven't guessed, is find a book with red on it. And I'm gonna bring up another Mary Lindsay novel, and this is Shattered Souls. Now, this is the first book I ever read by Mary Lindsay. This is, again, another standalone. She doesn't have any uh, series out that I've noticed, okay? I haven't looked into her ever since these two books. But yes, this was my first book from her, and it follows a girl named Lindsay who can hear voices, and she has, like, these prophetic visions, and she sees this boy, a specific boy, in these visions and then she just so happens to meet him in real life and then she's like oh my god and craziness ensues and you find out that she's actually a speaker which means she's kind of has the role of like Hades where she has to guide spirits into the other world and get them there and you find out that this boy is her protector and he's been her protector through all of her multiple lives and things it's actually really cool I really did enjoy it I can't remember a lot of it because I read this but yeah, I really wanted to give this a mention because I haven't talked about it ever. So yeah, Shattered Souls. Next is Earth. Find a book with something related to Earth on it. And for this, I chose Ruined by Paula Morris. Now, I've never mentioned this either, but I really, really enjoy this book. It is the first in a series. I'm not sure if it's simply a duology or if there's any more books. I haven't seen it. It might be a trilogy. I have the 
I have this in its sequel. But it's about this girl named Rebecca Brown who moves into New Orleans with her aunt because her dad goes away on like business across the seas and her aunt lives across the street from a cemetery and then she starts to see this girl at the cemetery and she's just like what is this girl doing walking around on the cemetery but she's actually a ghost and so Rebecca's like what the heck why can I see you what's up why are you even here you know like what's up so <laughs> she wants to find out what happened to the girl and why she can see her and craziness kind of ensues it's pretty cool I really do enjoy the series I really love it because it's a ghost story you know and I feel like in the end there's really not that many ghost stories in young adult fiction anymore so it's an interesting take and I did enjoy it and then the next question is find a book with green on it and for this I chose splintered by A.G. Howard cuz you're looking for green I mean that's green it's pretty green you know what I'm saying. I enjoy this book. I have the second one. It is sitting up there to be read, but uh, I'll get to it eventually. I'm busy, busy life. But yes, this is a cool book. I have mentioned it before, but yeah, it's about this girl named Alyssa Gardner who uh, can talk to plants and bugs and animals. And she's like, what the heck? No. I'm going crazy, but it actually turns out to be uh, some crazy curse on the woman of her family because, hey, her, like, grandmother or great-grandmother was the original Alice. So she has to go back into Wonderland to try and break the curse and kind of figure out what happened and what's going on. So, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, I highly suggest you do. Lastly is Air. Find a book with Air on it. And that, like... So I went with A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness because it's got the whole like atmosphere in the background, right? Yeah, you could just picture it as a dark, windy night making noises, you know what I'm saying? This is a very cool book. It's got a whole bunch of illustrations and the art and graphics are super cool. Like, ooh. This is fun. But yeah, it's about this kid named Connor who like wakes up and he sees this huge tree monster thing like creeping in on him and he's like, what? But the monster itself wants Connor to tell him the truth. And you're just like, what? What truth? What? And Connor's like, what truth? What are you talking about? And the monster's like, I'm going to tell you a couple stories to get you to tell me the truth kind of thing. And it's a really, really cool, really cool story. It's beautifully written. It has cool graphics and it just feels really nice to hold, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't checked this out, you should. I like it. I like it. And then last, find a book with white on it. And for this, I'm gonna pick A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. Because this is my, my all-time favorite Shakespeare play. And I just, it's just, I love it. Any Midsummer Night's Dream adaptations or anything, I'm all for it. You know, like For the World Mine, which uh, is a really awesome musical which, oh my goodness, if you have not seen Where the World Mine, it's on Netflix, I know it is. Please watch it, um, unless you know you're, you don't like LGBT, you know, more power to you, but just saying. It's one of my favorite musicals, period, simply because the lyrics of the music is legit the, the material from the book. And I've got, this is the only book I've ever dog-eared, guys, so don't freak out. But I've gone through, and every page that is dog-eared is where like, lyrics meet up. And it's, I love that movie. I love this play, I love this book, Ugh, it's beautiful. I feel like everybody should know what A Midsummer Night's Dream is, but in case you don't, it's hard to explain this play. You have fairies, you have people, you have magic, and then there's Puck who goes and messes up the love lives of all the characters involved. And it's awesome and funny and it's great. And you know, just a little tidbit for you guys, I've been wanting to get something from A Midsummer Night's Dream tattooed on my person. Otherwise, yeah, that's that. There is a bonus question here. It's find a book with colors blue, red, green, and white on it. And for this, I chose Dragon War by Lawrence Yep. This is the sequel to Dragon of Velocity, which I have mentioned multiple times before. Otherwise, I don't really remember what happened in this one. I'm pretty sure Thorne gets kidnapped and then Shimmer has to go and try and rescue him and stuff. But otherwise, it's a great book. I do enjoy it. And yeah, again, if you haven't checked out Dragon of Velocity, you know it doesn't hurt you any by going to look at it. Otherwise, yeah, that's that. So yes, thank you for watching, guys. That is my tag. Uh, I should probably tag people. Shoot. I didn't think about this. And my battery's gonna die. So all the people I tag will be in the down bar below. Uh, otherwise, in a like a little slide after the after this. 
Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will check you guys out on Monday. Bye!